Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Excel tutorial video. In this video, we're going to look at manipulating cells a bit further, not so much the numbers and letters you can enter into a cell, but more so the border of the cell and also the size of the cell. As a reminder, these numerics down the left hand side are your rows and the letters at the top are your columns. To change the size of a column, you'll notice there are thin lines beside each letter and above and below each number. If we wanted to make column G bigger, simply hover over the line to the right of G and you'll get a cursor that has an arrow to the left and right. Click and drag to make bigger and click and drag to make smaller. And you can do this with every column and you'll see that the size of the cell is growing. The width is getting bigger as we expand the width of the column. We can make them very small and very large. We can do the same with the rows. We have our numbers down the left hand side here. This time you want to go below the column that you want to expand. So click and drag, click and drag. You make, can make them very small and very large. You'll notice how big some of our cells are now and how small some of our cells are now. We can also add borders to each cell. If we click on a cell that we want to add a border to and right click, go to format cells. You'll then have this box appear. Go to border. It's the fourth tab on on my Excel. You'll then have this box appear. We can choose our style of border, the color of the border, and then we can place whereabouts we would like the border to be. And let me explain this further as the video goes on. So let's choose a nice thick border. That's our style. We'll leave the color as automatic, which is black, and let's add a border to the right and to the left of our cell. So I've clicked on the right and to the left. Click OK. You'll notice we now have a border on that cell. Click, right click, format cells, border tab, to remove the border, just click on it like so, and it will be removed. Let's add a border to the top and bottom. Okay. We now have a border right round that cell. Right click, format cells. Let's do a thin border at the top and bottom and click OK. You can add a border to a number of cells by clicking and dragging to highlight a number of cells. Right click, format cells, choose your border, click where you would like the border and click OK. We now have a border around a number of cells. If we highlight those cells again, right click, format cells. We can even enter a border on the inside of the cells or the inside of the group of cells. Okay. The best thing to do with this and with all these videos is just to play around with the software. 
you're not going to corrupt the software, you're not going to break it at all, just play around and see what you can do. For example, try entering text and into this table that we've created. You can change the color of the text, change the size of the cells and just play around see what you can do before this video ends let's talk about alignment you'll see that by default our text and numbers always enter the to the left side or to the right side of the cell using these buttons up here we can change the text to appear from left to right to center to the center horizontally and horizontally to the top of the cell. You'll notice that the bottom align is highlighted by default. If we click center, you'll see that the text move, moves up, upper moves to the top. Let's put it back down to the bottom. We can highlight a number of cells and do a number of them at the same time. And we also can change from left, center, and right using the align buttons underneath. So right, center, left. Highlight a number of cells, right, center, left. We can do center and center to have all of our text centered in our cells.